Hello everyone. Today we will see a hands-on demonstration regarding how to see or how to download NCB uh, the FASTA format as well as GenBank format or how to interpret the results in case of GenBank format, which is a longer format as compared to FASTA. So there are three ways for looking a query. One is uh, known as by simply typing the name of organism, for example, I am or the name of gene sequence which you want to search. For example, I am searching insulin. In this case, for example, all database are there. When I click on this particular thing, either I can go for the gene sequence or maybe nucleotide sequence. Currently, I am interested in nucleotide sequence of insulin. So I will scroll down and I will see here there is nucleotide. So here, when I click on that, I want a nucleotide sequence of insulin specifically related to homo sapiens. So you can either uh, tick on this homo sapiens or you can filter your results or you can simply drag and drop and you can see for example at number 5th this is my insulin homo sapien insulin uh, having symbol INS gene complete coding sequence that is CDS is available so I can either go for FASTA sequence or GenBank so this was the first thing uh, by using uh, this particular old database we can search that second is specifically go towards this for example I am again going towards this uh, main home page and I'm showing you how second, the second uh, that is related to the uh, the shorter, uh, uh, you can see shortcut of that particular searching. There, for example, I am searching insulin. I have already selected nucleotide option. So I am uh, typing it insulin. After that, if I search on this particular thing, so you can easily see same things are available. So here at the fifth position again, I got this thing. There is other option by which we can search our result. Uh, for example, if I already know the accession number, as in the previous uh, presentation, I have told you that in case of uh, this presentation uh, or this uh, presentation regarding that GenBank and uh, FASTA file, the unique common number is given to uh, uh, each entry that is accession number. So we can simply uh, write that particular accession number onto the search. For example, I am typing it here or maybe pasting it here. So I will directly get my sequence of interest. So here you can easily see that it is showing homo sapiens insulin INS gene complete sequence. Here you can easily see it's a version number because 0.2 is there means two time modification has been taken place. So we will go for this FASTA sequence. It is taking some time to load and when it loads you can see the simplest thing which we have to see while looking at FASTA is greater than sign. So here greater than sign is available. So if greater than sign is available, so we can say that this is a FASTA sequence. So we can say that here, for example here I am looking it. So greater than sign is there along with that homo sapien information is there along with that the complete CDS is also there. So this kind of thing is also available. Sorry. So to avoid that thing, I will uh, directly show you how we can save our result of FASTA. For example, we will click on this send. First, I will click on this so that we will remove this blue portion which has been selected accidentally. So save send, uh, sorry, <coughs> sorry, send to file and FASTA. So here file has been uh, downloaded and you can see your sequence. It has been already downloaded. So this is the one way by which we can select our uh, FASTA. Some people uh, select this thing and then copy paste to our, uh, towards that particular editor or maybe notepad. Other thing is uh, we can also change our uh, format by simply clicking on this particular for example GenBank full so that we will get a complete information regarding this thing. So here you can see the first thing first that is uh, locus number here it is given the locus number along with that the size is also given that is size of the sequence it is 4969 base pair along with that the type of sequence for example it is a DNA sequence other than that uh, it is a linear sequence for example it's a primate also here the date is also given uh, you can see uh, date is also given uh, then uh, there is a definition of that particular uh, gene that is homo sapien insulin gene along with that accession number which is given here along with that version number as I earlier told you version number indicates this particular thing two times modification has been taken place along with that key terms are also associated with it uh, such as GC rich region insulin polymorphic region tandem repeats all the things are available and the source of organism that is homo sapiens which is also available 
here taxonomical classification of that particular homo sapiens are also there so eukaryotes metazoa all the things along with that homo so all the things are related to that organisms are available along with that in case of header there is uh, reference information are also given that is from this sequence uh, base pair to this base pair who has given contributed these all uh, scientists or the authors has contributed under the title of uh, this particular paper which has been published in nature along with that other title and other authors are names are also there second is known as features as I earlier told you it consists of location and the qualifiers for example in this case the length is uh, starting from 1 to 4969 the organism name is homo sapien and the genetic type of organism is uh, or molecular type is genomic dna along with that reference taxonomical id is also given 9606 and the mapping is also given that is on 11th chromosome the p uh, p on the pr 15.5 the location is there tissue type is liver development stage is fetus so in case of gene as i earlier told you there are two different kind of uh, regions that are available one is known as exon one is known as intron exon is known as coding part of the dna intron is known as non-coding so double dot represent it is starting from 2186 and it is going towards this 2227 so the complete length was quite uh, huge in case of gene that is 2186 to 4969 but for the first exon, it is starting from 2186 to 2227. After that, 2228 to 2406, there is in, uh, intron region. And after that, there is a variation that is available at 42401. And there is coding sequence, which consists of contiguous sequence from 2424 to 2610 and 3397 to 3542, which is a precursor. And it is uh, the product name is insulin and the product uh, protein id is also given here one indicate one mod modification has been taken place and the sequence length is, uh, sequence name uh, uh, sequence is also given of the protein along with that signal peptide is there other peptides are also there along with intron variation and you can see here greater than sign is there here we are sure that the starting point is 3397 but the ending point is somewhere beyond that 3615 as you can see uh, in this case, this is number 2 and the variation is available at 3551. Here other variation is also there and there is a gap that is also and miscellaneous features are also available at 4145 to 4969. So complete sequence ended at 4949 uh, which is the length of 4969 which is the length of that particular sequence. So this is the whole detailed information of features. Third is known as uh, sequence information so for example here it is starting at 1 and it is ending at uh, G uh, that is 60th position then 61 and along with that there is a double forward slash that is also there which represents the indication of that particular uh, gen bank format so as I earlier told you this is the hand on demonstration for that uh, faster and gen bank format uh, if we go beyond that particular thing uh, I will give you a question related to this particular activity. So you can see based on this particular accession number, you can see AH0028442, which I have shown uh, insulin. You have to tell the base composition of that particular gene means how many base pair by looking at the gen bank format, you have to tell me the number of base pairs that are available in that particular accession number. So you have to write in the comment section how many base pairs are there. Second is known as uh, the question is according to this particular search which chromosome on this particular gene is located which chromosome I earlier told you either it is P or it is Q the location of that and how do you know that this gene is positive or negative strand for example uh, I am giving you a hint uh, for example if the values are ranging from 1 to 50 or the, this is ascending order it means it's a positive strand if it is going in the reverse direction means it is starting at 414 and ending at 1 then it is known as negative strand so you have to look in uh, carefully whether it's a positive or negative strand of the chromosome along with that there is other activity that is available that is uh, you have to uh, you have the following two annotated transcript having accession number this and this so after looking at this what is the difference between the reference sequence Re reference sequence is a uh, the sequence which is wild in nature, wild type sequence that is available, which is occurring natural in nature. Record that begins with this. So what is the difference between this XM and what is the difference between NM? So you have to tell me by writing on the comment section. Along with that, why do you think uh, you want the protein sequence 
as opposed to the nucleotide sequence why we need protein sequence in the nucleotide sequence how long is the protein uh, in that in the terms of amino acid in that particular query that is this one ah0028442 along with that you can also find in this particular query as well as in this just write how many amino acid length sequence are there so this was the query related to that thank you